Hey, what's up guys? Hope everyone's doing well. Beautiful day out. It's a perfect day to play Frisbee golf. It's a very easy transition from what we learned in terms of throwing, throwing the Frisbee the other day. When we throw the Frisbee, we talked about thumb on top, four fingers on the bottom, finishing towards our target. Now we're gonna take that and turn it into a game of golf. Now, for those that are not familiar with the game of golf, very simple to learn. The point of the, of the game is that the person with the lowest score is the winner. So you wanna take as few tries as possible to get the Frisbee into your target. So for today, we're gonna to use a hula hoop because we happen to have one here. If you don't have a hula hoop, you can use a bean bag, you can use a stuffed animal, anything that you want that can serve as a target that you wanna get the Frisbee over or into. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna start from right here. And I'm gonna see how many times it takes me to get the Frisbee into the hula hoop. And I'm gonna keep track of my score. And then Mrs. Schwartz, she's gonna go also, she's gonna have a turn. So here we go. First throw, it lands right there. Now in golf, we play the Frisbee or the golf ball from where it lands. So it landed here, that was my first try. So that's one, two, and three. So my score on the first hole is three. So now we go back to the starting line. And now it's gonna be Mr. Schwartz's turn. So you can say hi, Mr. Schwartz. <laughs> Hello, everybody. So I'm going to turn it. She's going to start right there. Good. All right, so she's got to play it from there. So that's her first shot. Where my score to beat is three. There's two. And three. So right now we're tied after one hole. Now we're going to play again. Now suppose that I get two on the next try, the next hole, that would give me a score of five. If Mrs. Schwartz goes and she gets three on the next hole, that would give her a score of six. That would make me the winner because I have the lower score. And you can keep playing this for as long as you want and you can change up the holes. So for example, maybe I want to start instead of right here. They want to make it a little bit more challenging and start from over here. And you play around any formation that you want make the game more interesting. Now we have to have a lot of room back here in our backyard. You may not have that luxury, but you make it work. You figure out how you want to do it. So you make a competitive game out of it. And again, remember, it's the lowest score that wins. All right, let me know how it goes. Take pictures, take videos. I'm excited to hear about your experience. Um, this would be a game that we could play at field day. If we have field day, we would do it a little bit differently, but you get the idea. All right, hope you guys are well. Talk to you soon. Bye.